normally not this damn early but it's about 7 a.m. and we're gonna hit a chest shoulder and a back workout we'll first start off with a warm-up and I'm just gonna go through the workout a little bit not gonna show everything but we have ring rows we have behind the neck presses we have Ring rows behind the neck, burst, bend over rows, push up with slider and clapping push ups as warm up. So, just starting off with that. Hey guys, welcome back, and I'm back here with another commentary. It's been a while, so I'm kind of rusty, so bear with me. So, everything I will do will be put in, put in sets and the reps that I did on the side of the screen. And I started off with a flat bench, we built over three sets. Actually, we work off like uh, our max weight, so that was pretty like uh, decent. But it was very early in the morning, like I said in the first clip. It was kind of grindy and somehow it did not feel that stable if you look very well on my bench it's kind of wobbly but it did went up pretty well first things first yes i mean we're pretty close the reason i do that is i think my shoulder mobility might not be that good so that's why i grip it closer and if i grip it wide it mostly kind of tends to hurt a little bit in my shoulder but really i would uh, like recommend you to find your own grip we superseted that with some face pulls this feels like very 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 well for my shoulders reason why probably because it opens up the shoulder and like helps with the mobility and warms it up very well while doing bench press at the same time so the bench press actually just went pretty decent even though it was pretty cold and we did hop in it hop in the workout after our warm-up but the face was really helped with it after that second superset we did were chin-ups also three sets with 12 10 8 pretty much Everything we do is the same. Um, some exercises we did three times twelve, three times fifteen, but it really was pretty high rep, pretty high intensity workout. Uh, we superset that with a dumbbell one armed overhead press, and like I said, I tend to have a little bit of nagging pain in my shoulders, but doing this real slowly and controlled, I actually focus more on the movement instead of like focusing on weight. It went pretty well, got a decent pump without hurting my like shoulders too much so we kept the weight pretty light and the third superset was actually an incline dumbbell press also the sets will be accounted for on the screen and one arm dumbbell row which you will see in a moment i think we did went a little bit too light on incline incline dumbbell press but we pretty much will auto regulate that for the next workout so i guess that will be fine and one thing about the dumbbell rows this is something that i really push to everyone do not row like to watch your shoulders to set, keep your elbows next to your body and roll to the back. So roll to your hips, you will really feel less a lot. Last exercise, last superset we're doing here is decline chest press, three sets of 15, superset with some cable flies, also 15. I gotta admit, it felt pretty well because we didn't do it in a pretty long time and we had quite some weight on it. Anyway, I wanna thank you for listening to this commentary. Um, I pretty much a rant or more of uh, information points coming up right now about college students and the things they struggle when they are dieting or training or fitting that in their lifestyle so if you find those problems please listen to the next about eight minutes thank you again and i'll talk to you in a moment what is up youtube uh welcome back this is after the workout that i just had in the morning about 7 15 a.m and right now it's just 12 p.m actually so real quick uh set back on the last video I talked about some stuff that I want to like share and document with all you guys and inform you if I possibly can. So one thing of that is a question I get very often is about students or uh, just people in college in general. They say they got a lot of problems and they cannot always fit like a diet or going to the gym in their daily schedule. So the, I got like three main problems that I want to address today. Uh, first one will be finances. Uh, second one will be time and third one will be like your social circle or your friends that are around you that do not like um, That is not really into the lifestyle about going to the gym all the time or sticking to a diet that just wants to go out and eat So the first point I want to address is finance Finances are one point that I get asked like all the time. How do you stick up with the diet? Uh, mostly buying chicken is a lot more expensive than buying like a burger You have to worry about your carbs, your fats 
in general buying healthy food nowadays is just more expensive than like buying junk food like a burger or uh, fries or whatever it's much easier to just go like to a snack bar get something to eat for about three four bucks and you got a meal then go to the store and buy chicken that's like five euro for maybe two to three meals chicken is kind of expensive uh, i do get the point that it's expensive but my whole tip on this is something that i heard and in my opinion it's very important if you know or heard about him gary always asks people for that how fancy are you living? So that's one thing that you really need to like take out of your mind because nowadays everybody wants to get the new iPhone, get the new, get all the new stuff that everybody's walking around with, like better clothing, a uh, new laptop, or whatsoever, or they just like to eat out all the time. So first things first, check that first. If you're just living too fancy, you're buying a lot of stuff that you don't really need. You want it, but you don't really need it. You can maybe like dial down on that so you got like more money to save to go on your diet to buy a gym membership to maybe buy some gym gear or whatsoever like belt or shoes or whatever you need to go to the gym right secondly it's pretty much the same point something wise that i heard like a real really really long time ago is that it is not about how much you make but how much you spend so in general the expenses are more important than your income if you have want to have money left it's not about how much money you get in but how much money you give out so think about that save some money on the things that you don't really need and you will have more money left to like buy or um, like get the food that you need for your diet right so it's just a matter of priorities actually and priorities are pretty much something important in all the three points but that will be my main tip for finances Second thing is the time. Uh, I get it, you have to go to college, you have to study for your exams, you read book maybe, maybe you got other hobbies or maybe you want to game or you want to play like an instrument or something. First things first, in my honest opinion, everyone got time to go to the gym. Every single one got time to the gym. So with that out of the way, just go to the gym. It's like, even if it's just 45 minutes, it's better than nothing. If you got like, uh, less time to go to gym, make it more supersets, um, do more cardiovascular if you want to lose weight or just focus on heavy lifting if you want to gain strength or gain muscle mass or whatever your goal is, right? Just focus on that one thing and you can just lower the rest times. I know for powerlifting the rest times needs to be a little, a little bit longer. Then just focus on the main lifts, um, do maybe a three or four day weekly split and make it full body routines. So you got more time throughout the week to do this other stuff that you like about diet the time with diet you do not necessarily have to prep food but there are more ways of dieting you can eat like carb cycle you can flex diet um you can go on low carb you can go on high fats you can go paleo or you can go vegan or whatever there are like many 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 diets so choose whatever fits your lifestyle if it fits your lifestyle it's easier to fit in the time to actually focus on getting the meals in getting your macronutrients in and your micronutrients in I put it all in a six hour period. So I do intermittent fasting. Um, I think about 16, 14 to 16 hours a day, I do not even eat at all. I just drink and I'm in about to four, six hour span, I get most of my meals in. So do not worry about meal timing. Prep your main meals, prep your proteins or just your carbs. Prep something that takes a lot of time of cooking. Every Sunday, every Monday, one of those days, start your week off right, prep your meals, that's pretty much about time and like I said, it's again about priorities. Um, how important is it to you? Are you willing to give up something like to go to the gym, to live a healthier lifestyle? In my opinion, please do so because a lot of people nowadays just do not move enough in their daily time. So I really wanna recommend and encourage everyone to just take that first step and go to the gym. I know it will be uncomfortable, but really, if you're not like if you're like too fat or too skinny the people in the gym that are actually serious will just look up to you that you actually took the first step to go there and i promise you that the social side um i get it you want to hang out with friends you want to go out to eat you don't want to like be the one with the tupperware all the time in college i get that point so make a choice like i said the diet is a part of the lifestyle choose something that fits you it still works go flexible dieting just count your macronutrients and eat whatever you like you can even guesstimate a little bit for the first two weeks when you're in this, I would recommend you to like stay on the safe side and weigh most of it out. But if you go like after the third or fourth week, you will get 
a pretty good feel of eyeballing everything you eat. When you go out, you will get like some rice or some meats and some veggies. You pretty much will be able to guesstimate how much you weigh and you can still fill it in with whatever app you're using. If you want to use whatever I use, I use my fitness pal. It's very easy. A lot of people use it. Um, you do not even have to go premium or pay anything for it. It's a free app. So I hope these tips helped you out a little bit. Um, I really like you know, whiteboard where I can write stuff down on because I want to do more talks like this and inform as much as possible. And now I'm pretty much probably have photoshopped all kinds of stuff to my site, but if I just written down all that, it'll be much easier. Um, I hope it helps out. If you know anyone struggling with this, please recommend this video to them, share it, and I want to thank you for watching. This is gonna end episode two of the fitness culture programming. Today was a great, up a buddy day, we did some cardio and I actually walked for about half an hour home so I did some extra cardio and I hope you enjoyed it please press the thumbs up button, it really helps me like grow out and spread like the information as good as possible and I need to learn to look at the lens so I'll see you all in the next episode and it's probably gonna be a leg day front squats which sucks but it has to be done thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.